Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. In this week's Quick Tip Tuesday, we are going to round up the seven things that you're probably doing wrong with your GoPro. These are tips that I've talked about here and there on the channel, but this video is gonna kind of bring them all in one spot, so when people message me and they're doing these things, I can say, go check out that video, because that's, you're doing all seven of them. <laughs> Before we jump into that though, another week has gone by and and man, things have just gotten weirder and weirder. And the effect on our everyday life has gotten more and more widespread. And I know that a lot of you are in a similar position as us where our income has pretty much just completely been wiped out for the next few months, foreseeable future. We don't know. That's kind of the weirdest part about it is we don't know when when we'll have income again. And on that note, I wanna thank you guys so much for being so supportive. The, the outpouring of support on that last video was amazing, and I am super, super grateful for this community. And also, like I mentioned in the last video, we're, we're gonna do merch, and it is, it's ready. We're ready to go. We're ready to launch our very first t-shirt for this channel. And for this channel's first t-shirt, I figured I would focus on something that I've been saying through all of this, and it's that we all need to come together to help each other out and be a good human. This is the first shirt for the channel. It is the, uh, it's the be a good human shirt. <laughs> I love it, I'm so stoked on it. Look at that. This one's like the prototype version, but it has it has the channel logo on the back and then on the front, be a good human. So you can rock the shirt and remind people around you to also be good humans. And one of the ways that you can be a good human is to support this channel. If you like watching this channel, you like our videos, uh, we could use the support right now by picking one of these bad boys up at the new website below. It is the first link in the description. We're gonna be taking pre-orders all this week and then next week be able to start sending them out probably Monday or Tuesday. And we'll send them out in the order that they were received. So, so get your order in soon and be one of the first to get the Be A Good Human t-shirt. Oh, there's a woman's t-shirt also. I will, I'll put a picture here of Morgan in the woman's t-shirt. This is Morgan wearing the women's t-shirt. Next up is the highly requested Patreon page that is also now ready at the second link below. So for all of you that have been mentioning, man, you should have a Patreon page. I do now. There's a few different tiers on there, but the $10 tier is the one that I'm really excited about because that gets you access to a once a month live stream on Fridays. It'll be it'll be something like the Team VIP live stream Friday. I don't have a name for it yet. And I'm super pumped to see that small group community just grow and be able to hang out with each other. I can answer any of your questions and especially at the beginning, if there's only like five or 10 of you in there, then it's just gonna be us hanging out for an hour once a month. And again, that's the second link in the description below. And, and thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. Thank you so much for supporting making these videos and keeping them going. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna go get a job, I guess, during these months. I don't really know. I'm not sure what we're gonna do, but this is more fun. I like doing this, and you guys can keep that going. Huh? But yeah, you guys rock, and, uh, and thank you. Okay, on to today's quick tip where, where we're gonna be wrapping up kind of the, the seven most common mistakes that people make with their GoPro into one video. Because there's a lot of mistakes out there, but these are the top seven. Okay, number one mistake is you're shooting everything auto. You pull your GoPro out of the box, you plug a battery in there, you hit record, and you just go out and start shooting away, and your footage looks like poop and you don't know why, and you go, ah, this thing is stupid. I'm gonna link my GoPro settings video right up here for you to check out. It's a, a deeper dive on the settings that you should probably be running. There's a few different versions in there, but for the most part, those settings are gonna get you some great, great footage. Much better than if you just left your GoPro in auto mode. And that video is gonna walk you through choosing GoPro color or flat color profile. It's gonna walk you through your ISO ranges that you should probably be using. It's gonna walk you through things like frame rate and shutter speed. I like 24 frames a second at 148th shutter and more. But again, if you just hit auto out of the box, this thing just takes meh video. To get the really good stuff, you gotta fiddle with the dials. 
And the number two thing that you are probably doing wrong with your GoPro is, is you're not editing your footage at all. This is one of the most common things that I see is people buy a GoPro, they go out, they shoot and shoot and shoot, then they make a video out of it and they go, I don't know why it doesn't look like the GoPro commercial. It's the same reason that your selfies don't look like a magazine ad because editing. See, the thing is the greatest photos and video in the world are probably edited. I've had this requested before. If you guys wanna see a full tutorial on how I edit my GoPro footage, I do it in Premiere Pro, by the way. Comment below, let me know if, uh, if enough of you wanna see that. I will do a whole video on how I edit GoPro footage. It's not, it's not super crazy, it's not insanely in depth, but there's a lot to it still. Because a camera this size can honestly only do so much. The best thing you can do with your GoPro is set it to flat color profile, bring the sharpness all the way down, do as little processing in the camera as possible. Just say, just film, record the sensor, let me process on my computer. That's how you get the best results. So number two, you're not editing your GoPro footage at all in post, which again, I know is a whole thing to learn, but I would encourage you to start learning that. Jump into Premiere, jump into DaVinci Resolve, jump into any of these programs where you can take video footage and grade it in some way or color correct it in some way. So start playing around with it, start learning it, and uh, edit your GoPro footage. I know that one seems obvious, but lots of people just buy it, they shoot it, and then they edit it, and they go, I don't know why it doesn't look so good. I get those comments all the time. And the number three thing that you are doing wrong with your GoPro is you're shooting it at night. The thing is, GoPros are just not built for night shooting. It's not a great low light camera in general. I, I just don't recommend them for use at night. They work. I've seen people's videos that they do a lot of editing. They do a lot of noise reduction and post and it looks decent. But in general, a GoPro at night, it's going to look kind of poopy. But if you absolutely must shoot your GoPro at night, I have three tips for night shooting that will at least help you a little bit. Number one is shoot 4K. The 4K footage coming out of this camera is way better than 2.7 or 1080. Shoot 4K, even if you're gonna edit in 1080, uh, the 4K will look better in low light. Number two, set your ISO max to 800. In your settings, you can set a minimum and a maximum ISO, and 800 is about the max that you wanna push this camera to, 16, 32, anything above 800, it looks pretty terrible and mushy. And your last tip is use 24 frames per second at 1 48th shutter to get the most amount of light out of your camera. Because if you go up to 30 frames per second, the shutter speed will need to be 1 60th. If you go to 60 frames a second, the shutter speed will be 1 1 20th. And those higher shutter speeds are letting in less light. So your best bet at letting in the most amount of light is max ISO at 800, your shutter speed at 1 48th of a second with a 24 frames per second frame rate. And then if you put those settings in and you go out, and it's, it's too dark, then, then it's too dark. You can't use a GoPro, or you shouldn't. And the number four thing that you are probably doing wrong with your GoPro is you're not, you're not holding it very stable. It's hard, it's very small, it's very lightweight, so you can, you can move it easier. Inertia. See, the thing about bigger cameras is that, is that they're heavier, they weigh more, and it's harder to move around a bigger camera than it is a little camera. A little camera, look, I can, I could very fast. This one, not as fast. Inertia, which means the smaller your camera, the more you have to think about holding it steady and being really, really careful with it. A larger camera, and this one's not that large, this is still a very small camera, but a larger camera isn't going to want to move as much and, and be as whippy and crazy. You kinda gotta give it more to move it. A little camera like this was like, ah, just goes everywhere. And that's what I see in people's videos that they send me and they say, hey, check out my vlog, it's so awesome with a GoPro. I just see them doing this or holding it like this and just like, hey everybody, I'm filming a video. <laughs> like the very first quick tip on this channel, think of your GoPro just like you'd think of any other camera. Think of it like a hot cup of coffee filled all the way to the top and you're, and you're walking around like this with it going, oh, here we go. Hot cup of coffee. Don't spill the coffee. Oh, that might be another t-shirt. But you need to think of this as as something that, that you're filming with. It's a, it's a camera, you don't, you don't wanna do this. Otherwise you look at the footage and you wanna puke. So number four thing, hold your camera stable. These seem obvious, but, but they're not, 
or apparently they're not. Number five thing that you're probably doing wrong with your GoPro is, is you're killing your battery unnecessarily. GoPros are not known for, for their extraordinary battery life, but there's three settings in your GoPro that you can turn off that will help extend the battery life of your camera. The very first one is GPS. The GoPro is automatically recording GPS information if it's turned on, so we turn that off and now it's it's not worried about GPS anymore. Number two is Wi-Fi. If you're using Wi-Fi, like you have the camera hooked up to your phone via Wi-Fi, you're doing things with it, then obviously you need the Wi-Fi on, but if you're not, turn off the Wi-Fi setting in your camera. And number three is quick capture. Turning off quick capture extends the life of your GoPro because it's not it's not ever really turned off all the way when quick capture's on because it's looking for me to press the button and turn on and start recording. If quick capture is turned off, the camera can fully power down when it's off. But that does mean that in order to start filming, I need to turn the camera on, let it power on, and then I can hit record. Quick capture is very nice, but if you want more battery life, turn it off. The number six thing that you are probably doing wrong with your GoPro, and this is, this is really a personal one for me, but it's that you have your LED lights turned on. These little cameras have these wonderful little LED lights on the front right there and on the back up in that corner. And those LED lights let you know that the camera is recording, but they also let everyone else know that the camera is recording. And in my experience, while we've been traveling, while we've been cruising around different countries around the world, being able to walk around with a GoPro that doesn't have flashing lights on it just, you know, like this, has allowed me to get shots of places or people that I probably wouldn't have otherwise gotten. Because people see red lights flashing at them, they realize that they're on camera, and they're either gonna ask you to please stop recording them or act differently. A lot of people even just walk away. They see it and they go, and you don't want that. You wanna be able to just kinda let this thing be a part of the scene, be a part of the experience, and for me, not having those LED lights on. See, I can still tell that it's recording because the numbers are clicking. So it's easy when you're holding it and I can just look down quickly and see, okay, I am recording, and then, and then just go about my business. Again, for me, especially as we've traveled around, not having those LED lights on has, has really gotten me some cool shots that I probably wouldn't have gotten otherwise. I'm not doing anything illegal, it's just that I want people to stay acting natural around me even when my GoPro's out. Tis better to ask for forgiveness than permission. And the number seven thing that you're probably doing wrong on your GoPro is, is you don't have screen protectors. This is true for all GoPros, but especially on the Hero 8 Black where we can no longer remove and replace the lens, which is stupid, by the way. Putting a screen protector on there, can you even tell it's on there? You can't, it's there. See, I can flick it with my finger. But it's a small glass piece that goes over there, and then I also have that on my back screen. So if I take this and I throw out my bag because I'm in a rush or something like that, I'm not gonna scratch my back screen or my lens. But the lens cover in particular, having it mounted on my motorcycle helmet, even just walking around with it, doing different stuff with it, dropping it. I've broken or cracked many of my old GoPro lenses, but the nice thing was that they were always replaceable. So I usually had a couple extra with me and it doesn't matter where I was, I just pop that one off, throw it in the trash, put a new one on and uh, we're good to go. With the new GoPro, you break it, you gotta send the whole camera in which is so stupid. I don't know why they did that still. I will link the screen protectors that I use uh, in the description below. Third link. Yeah, first link is t-shirts, second link, Patreon, third link, screen protectors for your GoPro. And that is seven things that you're probably doing wrong with your GoPro. Quick tip Tuesday in our second week of quarantine. Uh, still, still making videos. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching today. Thank you for hitting the like button. And if you guys want to pick up the very first ever David Manning vlog t-shirt, uh, it's available, first link. And look, there's a little back thing. And again, women's, women's version available as well. Isn't she pretty? She's so pretty. <laughs> oh, am I, does it look like I'm looking at her? Oh. <laughs> again, I'm not, there's nothing here. And with all of that said, Stay safe out there, guys. Uh, weird times. Stay inside, look out for each other, and in general, be, be a good human. Yeah.